Liftoff, Starlink 47. Bad news this week for Starlink, the global broadband subsidiary of private spaceflight company SpaceX. The company reports losing as many as 40 of the 49 recently deployed internet delivery satellites after a solar storm sent them tumbling out of orbit. This video appearing to show the satellites re-entering the atmosphere was captured by the Caribbean Astronomy Society in Puerto Rico. SpaceX says a geomagnetic storm late last week thickened the atmosphere, which increased drag on the satellites and ultimately led to their doom. Ground teams tried to control the satellites' descent, but the pull was too great. The company says the falling satellites pose no threat to Earthlings. In other news, this year marks the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 16 mission, the fifth mission to land astronauts on the moon and bring them back to Earth. Apollo 16 was the second mission carrying a lunar rover and astronauts collected samples, snapped some photos and conducted first-of-their-kind experiments using an ultraviolet camera on the moon. Today, the Apollo 16 capsule that carried three astronauts half a century ago rests at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville, Alabama. Delayed by the pandemic, the capsule now gets a long-awaited cleaning. This is a piece of history that human beings should be able to enjoy millennia from now, not just in the next few decades or centuries, but uh, it should be kept and preserved because it represents uh, one of the greatest triumphs of the space program of the planet Earth. Considering its age, those working on the project say the capsule is in pretty good shape. Impressive, considering it didn't always live in a glass case and museum visitors could walk up and touch it. The case is not completely hermetically sealed, which is actually an important thing. You don't want to completely seal it off and have no air circulation. Um, and so we do occasionally get insects and fluff and those sorts of things in there. Um, sometimes some foreign debris, you know, makes it in there by people trying to do things. Foreign debris like business cards, pencils, money, spoons, and even a tube of lip balm. Workers delicately using various cleaning methods plan to have the spacecraft looking its best by the 50th anniversary of its April 16, 1972 flight. Finally this week, NASA's Parker Solar Probe captured the first visible light images of Earth's inhospitable neighbor, Venus. The images turned into this video reveal features like continental regions, plains, and plateaus along with a halo of oxygen surrounding the planet. Parker's Wide Field Imager, or WISPR, caught the images in a pair of flybys observing the same visible spectrum our eyes can see. Scientists say learning about Venus can help them understand how Earth supports life and why Venus does not. Arash Arbasadi, VOA News.